The injector head houses the motors, pumps, sensing elements and software that controls the delivery of contrast and saline. The injector head includes safety features to support the safe delivery of angiographic fluid media. The control panel hosts the main user interface for the CVI system. The main features of the control panel are as follows. The touchscreen provides the user with prompts throughout the setup procedure. During the operation, the touchscreen provides status information, alerts messages and controls for configuring injection parameters and device states. Arms mode indicator light, which is lit when the system is ready to perform an injection. Standby button, used to pause the system operation. Speaker for audible alerts. Lua connections for the AngioTouch hand controller. A swivel base, which allows the control panel to be easily rotated for optimal viewing. The major functional areas of the touchscreen are shown in the following video. Flow. This allows the user to set the contrast flow rate parameter, which is either in variable rate mode, the highest flow rate attainable if the contrast button on the hand controller is fully depressed, or in fixed rate mode, it is the constant flow rate for each injection. Volume. This allows the user to set the volume limit, which is the maximum amount of contrast media that may be injected. Pressure. This allows the user to set the pressure parameter, which is the maximum allowable syringe pressure. The system only generates the amount of pressure necessary to create the flow requested, no more. The pressure indicated on the screen is not the injection pressure, but the pressure limits at the syringe to drive the flow of the contrast. If the injection pressure approaches the limit, the CVI system will either adjust the flow rate or stop the injection. Rise time. This allows the user to set the rise time, which is either in variable rate mode, the time it takes the system to go from zero flow to the requested flow rate. The requested flow rate arrives from how firmly the contrast button on the hand controller is pressed. Or, in fixed rate mode, the amount of time it takes the system to go from zero to the flow rate set by the flow parameter. Select injection allows the user to select the desired injection type. In cardiac mode, these injection types are LCA, left coronary artery, RCA, right coronary artery, LV slash AO, left ventricle and aorta, and other. Select mode. The select mode initiates the following three modes of operation. Inject. This mode is used to arm the system in preparation for injecting contrast. Saline. Select this mode to flush the system with saline. Purge. Select this mode to run contrast through the system in order to purge air. End case. This starts the end of case procedure for replacing the single use component and, if desired, shutting down the system. System messages area. System messages and alerts are displayed in this area of the screen. Inject mode. With this mode, you can switch between variable and fixed flow rate. Calibrate HC. Press this button to calibrate the hands controller. Start refill. Press this button to refill the syringe with contrast media. During refilling, this button will change to stop refill. Press stop refill in order to stop the refill. Color. The screen colors can be changed with this button. If necessary, there is a possibility to give in the weight of the patient. The speaker on the control panel produces audible indicators to signal certain events. When pressing a button on the screen, you will hear a click. When the syringe is filling, you will hear a series of tones. With an alert message, you will hear a beep. You will hear a repetitive beep during a contrast injection.
These are the Lua connections for the Angio Touch hand controller. A swivel base allows the control panel to be easily rotated to a position for optimal viewing. The power supply serves as the only connection to mains power and provides power to all subsystems of the CVI system. The power supply also provides the data interface connections between subsystems and connection to the remote X-ray imaging system if applicable. There are two options to provide power to the power supply. One option is through the socket. The other is through the X-ray imaging system connection. If connected to the X-ray imaging system, the CVI will get its power from there. This connection is to a Siemens system. Other connections may vary. Once the system powers up, the control panel on the CVI system will provide guidance during the setup procedure by displaying a series of on-screen prompts. The CVI system can be mounted in the following ways. These are the available choices. The CVI system can be mounted on a movable pedestal cart with the control panel mounted on the injector head. The CVI system can be mounted on a bed rail with the control panel mounted on the injector head. The CVI system can be mounted on a bed rail with the control panel mounted separately. The assist system is equipped with a saline pump. The saline pump is a peristaltic pump for saline delivery. The tubing should be installed correctly by opening the saline pump and placing the saline tubing inside. Next, center the tubing in the pump so that equal amounts of tubing remain on either side of the pump. Lower the rear tubing clamp until it holds the tubing in place. The tubing clamp should be lowered so as to secure the tubing without crimping the tubing. The manifold valve sensor automatically switches between high and low pressure ports for delivery of contrast and saline. The sensor ensures that the patient's blood pressure is monitored continuously, apart from when fluid is being injected, assuming the pressure transducer is connected. Manifold Valve Sensor The ASSIST CVI system is equipped with an air column detect sensor. The air column detect sensor cannot detect air in the patient catheter, the stopcock, or the high pressure tubing past the sensor. This sensor is designed to aid the user in the detection of air columns in the injection line, but it is not designed to replace the vigilance and care required of the operator in visually inspecting for air and clearing air from the entire patient's kit and angiographic catheter. The air column detect mechanism is to be used in conjunction with and to complement the user's other procedures for preventing air injections.